Good morning, everyone. It's Charles Folkart on January the 6th, 2017, early morning. I um, I got up in the middle of the night, I guess you'd say, and uh, I'll go back to sleep later. But I, I wanted to make this video. It's been on my mind for a little while. Ever since I did this other video here on the uh, toilet use by the astronauts on the ISS. And this morning I want to take a look at their uh, shampooing their hair. How they say they shampoo their hair. We're going to look at Karen Nyberg. Nyberg, for those of you with eyes to see and ears to hear, you'll know what that means. And um, first of all, let's look at evidence. We, remember, I've said that everything we get to prove that what we're seeing is fake will come from the actor knots themselves. So the evidence is available, body of facts or information indicating whether a belief or proposition is true or valid. This is not the only uh, meaning of evidence, but it's it'll work for us. And uh, also, I want to remind you of a quote by m one of my uh, f favorite baseball characters, Yogi Berra. And Yogi Berra said, you can observe a lot by just watching. So we're going to go over and we're going to watch uh, actor not, actress not, Karen Nyberg wash her hair and explain how she completes this little uh, personal hygiene while on the ISS. So here we are, Karen Nyberg shows how you wash hair in space. And I'd like to take this time to remind you, you can subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. You can get your emails, n notifications when I post a new video. And this is something you need to check every once in a while. I had a subscriber tell me that he was unsubscribed from my channel and that happens a lot so you might want to check if you are interested in staying up to date. So what I'm going to do here, I've got this speed at half speed, I've got the sound on and we're going to have a look right out of the horse's mouth how they say they wash hair on the space station. I will pause the video at uh, appropriate times and make uh, c comments make uh, on things I observe. And if you have any observations, uh, please put them below the video in the c comment section. Thank you. Here we go. Now, I n notice this red. Th uh, that's a symbol of the forked tongue of a serpent. Um, it's inner, no, nothing is done by happenstance, folks. Hi there. I've had a lot of people ask me how I wash my hair in space. Well, Karen, there, you're... I'm sure there's a lot of people that have wondered how you wash your hair, and we have the same question, so we're going to take a look. And I thought I'd, I'd show you how I do it. Nope. Alrighty, the first thing I want you to notice, you see that flash that went past the screen there? Now that's going to be important. I've already watched this uh, video uh, twice and I want you to notice because that's going to be important here in a moment. Let's see. To get started, these are the things I need. See that flash again? A bag of warm water, a little over and shampoo. Towel. No. That no rinse shampoo, I'm going to, let's go have a look at that. This, I believe, is the bottle they're using. It says up here, camping, hiking, health, safety, camping, and also, of course, uh, if you're in outer space, right? 
And this says right here, the Nassau astronauts used this shampoo during the space shuttle missions. And we're going to come back here in a minute, and we're going to look at a couple of the reviews. But for right now, I just want you to know what kind of shampoo she's using. There's, there's that flash again. What I like to do is start by just putting some hot water, squirting it onto my scalp, and I have a mirror here, so I can kind of watch what I'm doing. Now. Pay attention to this, what she says is hot water in that plastic or that uh, foil container. And she's got a mirror here, but I want you to see later, she's going to have another mirror, that, which is in this area right here, uh, right next to the camera to her right side. But we'll get to that in a moment. But watch how little water actually gets onto her scalp. Now, did you notice most of all of that water, it, it all went up. It's, it's gone. It didn't, she didn't get it in her hand. There it goes. It's going all over everywhere but in her hair. And it, there goes that flash again. See, that flash is important because they give her more time and they go and, and they put more, well, I believe they put more water or whatever they're using on her hair and then they, they, they hide it with that flash. They pause the video. This has been pre-recorded. This is not live, folks. In fact, uh, let's go back a little bit, and I'm going to go back and play that again. See all the water? It's not getting on there. And then they do the flash, and now look at her. She's got all kinds of water on her hair. Yeah, the water that they put on when the camera was off. And you notice the background music. This is a production. And also, uh, notice how long her hair is. Wouldn't they require an astronaut to cut their hair? Um, you know, I'm not saying that's required, but there's a lot of loose hair. And she's got a lot of hair, and where's that hair all end up at? You know, her it uh, up up on the uh, ceiling of the ISS. There's that flash again. Look how much uh, water she's got on her hair now. Also a little bit, she said, right? A little bit. There's that flash again. See? They, they, um, they turn off the video. She puts a whole bunch of that shampoo in her, on her scalp and in her hair, and then they turn the video back on, and they hide it behind that flash. There's that flash again. I want to go back to where she says a little bit. Little bit. And rub it in. Again, kind of working it out to the ends. See, she's looking to our left and to her right at another mirror. And I like to take my towel while I have the 
Now remember she said that a little bit. It looks to me like she's got an awful lot of both water and shampoo in her hair. If you watch it, I'm going to play it back and you watch where most or a lot of that water she's saying is water ends up flying away. Look. And then they do that little flash again. See, that gives them time to put a lot more water in there on her hair. And uh, but you don't get to see that now she's looking at the mirror there to uh, our left so a couple questions there's a mirror to our left and to her right and that would not be on the ISS that was all put on there for this production and number two what's that noise in the background is there a noise being uh what's that from is it's uh what is there um, a electromagnetic uh, machine or device operating in the back and i think they try to hide it with that music see there, there's there's so many things here that aren't right She says they use tiles for quite a while there, but that tile looks awful darn clean, so she must have used a new one. And that's a whole nother video coming up about their clothes, but we won't get into that right now. says here she's go she's when she's using her comb it's going up on the ceiling and into the um, uh, ISS and um, it's got to go through their uh, filtering system something's not right here folks doesn't pass the smell test Big old smile. She's an actress. She's not an. She's not an, an astronaut. She's an. She's an act. She's an actress. Not. I wash hair in space. 
And I get paid very well to fool all you sheeple. Let's go have a look at the uh, reviews for that shampoo. Here's that shampoo that NASA astronauts use this shampoo. Now, you notice this? It says, easy to use. Just shake, apply directly to hair, massage until foaming lather covers your hair. Well, I didn't see any foaming lather. Did you? Now, this review, is per this guy is a Marine, and I would assume he's a male. All right, he's, you know, pretty good possibility he's a male. So he's got one of them real short haircuts. And he talks about, um, I squirted some in the cup of my hand, applied and rubbed it into my hair. He's probably got hair that's no longer than a quarter inch, maybe half inch. I lathered really well, especially after squirting more directly onto my hair. And then he says, save for the lather. See? It, he, they, he talks about lather. And here's another review right below this one. Bought this originally for my seven-day Kilimanjaro trip. She's got long hair, so it's probably a woman. I now keep a bottle in my gym bag, blah, blah, blah. I go through the two-ounce bottle size in two washes, but you can't beat the convenience. So it takes a lot of this product to wash her long hair. Here's another review. First time I used it, I just tried it right out of the bottle. It left residue and didn't make my hair feel clean. Next time, I took about a half ounce and mixed it with about eight ounces of water. So my hair was wet through. This worked great, and I used less product. See? That's why they had to interrupt the, the recording of that uh, production for that um, uh, made for TV production we saw. Let's go have another look over at Amazon.com by the review. This one is a male. He's probably got shorter hair. He talks how he was able to quickly work it into a lather. I didn't see any lather on Mrs. Karen or Miss, Ms. Karen N N N N Nyberg's hair. Did you? Here's one. I have really, really long hair, but short bangs and prefer not to wash the whole dang set every single day. So she washes her bangs on the off day. I agree with, oh boy, I agree with the, I agree with the earlier lukewarm review that notes it's not easy to use on long hair. Though it will work if you use enough and you have and have really poured it on, really douse yourself. Uh, generally speaking, you don't get as squeaky or shiny clean as you're probably used to with normal shampoo. On the plus side, it has a lovely conditioning effect and here again she talks about um, and to rub out the stuff overall once the la lather has died down here's another one you pour it on dry hair lather it up and towel dry it does not it does the trick Well, that should be enough. Uh, you'll have to make up your own mind. I, I, I don't, it doesn't pass the smell test for me. But uh, thank you for watching and uh, embrace the love of the truth and may the grace of Yahweh be with us all, for we certainly need it. See ya.